Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kim, and I'm the fitness coordinator for Seneca at York, and welcome to Ask a Trainer Tuesday. Um, we're just gonna give it a second. Sarah is going to try and log on. Um, we were just actually talking on the phone, so we're just gonna give her a second to hop on. So today's topic, we're going to do a couple of little things for you. Um, uh, with Bell Let's Talk Day being on Thursday, um, we are going to focus on exercise and mental health and also checking in with others and doing what you can for others as well as yourself. Um, so, <laughs> hopefully she hops on here in a second. So we're hoping everyone's enjoying the um, very lovely snow day out there. That's awesome. Um, winter is one of my favorite times of the year and that gets me going. Um, and there we go. There's Sarah. So Sarah's going to be joining us and we are going going to have a chat. So just give it a second to load. There it is. Hi. How are Hello. you? Hello. How are you? <laughs> You're still here. I am. I'm here. I almost just died, but I'm here. Um, please <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I love so. Canada winter. Okay. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So, for Bell Let's Talk Day, we are going to be discussing exercise and the benefits it has for your mental health. Um, and then we're also going to talk about helping others and helping yourself. That's a okay. Can. Sounds so, good. So, Ms. Sarah, you've done some research. What's going I on? Have. <laughs> um, so, this one's a big one for me. Uh, it's obviously relatable to everybody, but something about mental health is that exercise is obviously beneficial to our mental health and what what i've done research that really kind of captivated me is the actual chemicals that are released when you work out so there's three main chemicals that are released which is dopamine i don't know how to say this one neo neporephrine <laughs> who knows i'm totally butchering it and then we have um serotonin so those three chemicals are like happy chemicals so dopamine is what we call the pleasure chemical and it's actually found in a lot of like um drugs like uh mm -hmm. cocaine and like not to like speaking of mental health but um those <laughs> drugs that are like really um those drugs are that chemical that's in that drug is actually what's in our body that we produce so something that a lot of people get addicted to fitness which is the pleasure chemical which is something that's going to actually make you mentally and physically feel better so that is released during um that is released during working out and then there's neo -ref i can't say it neo -ref neo -ref Pinephrine. and that one is actually improves energy and alertness so if you if you're working out and you're doing i think we've lost your volume there sarah sarah can you hear me we can't hear you <laughs> I can't hear you. I don't know if other people can hear you. <laughs> We're going to have to work out a series of blinks. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear you, Sarah. Now you're frozen. Okay, well, Sarah will hopefully come back. <laughs> she was doing a really great description. There we, of, go. Um, there we go. Are you back? Yes. Did you not? Yeah. What did I um, the word that you were having trouble with. <laughs> All the way back there. Long? I just talked for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Technology, Sarah. It is our enemy today. <laughs> okay. So, wow, that's been a while. That was the last thing. Okay. No. <laughs> No repinephrine, no, pre no preference. I should have practiced that. Anyways, that improves energy and alertness. And alertness. So pretty much what I was saying is that these chemicals are released every time we work out, which actually in, um, it boosts anxiety or it reduces anxiety, depression, stress, improves self-esteem, mood, regulates sleep, just helps you with a sharper memory, and it also relieves tension. So 
the well the actual mental gains of exercise is not just physical it is so much more mental and physical our well-being is tied into our brains and into our bodies so the more that we work out it doesn't just benefit our muscles getting bigger our bodies changing to look more the way we want it actually releases literal chemicals that are going to improve your mood improve your memory improve your sleep like it's Exercise is phenomenal for mental being. And a research was done at Harvard TH Chan, a school of public health, found that running for 15 minutes, just 15 minutes, or walking for an hour, it reduces the risk of major depression by 26%. That's 15 minutes of running. For 20, yeah. like, that, that's just crazy how much, like, working out can affect your mental health. So, like, I found that really interesting. But, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I have more that touches on it if we want me to dive into it, but I don't know if you wanted to touch base on other stuff. So, well, you know what? We cannot let other people kind of look at that too. So, we did have a question when are the gyms reopening? Not till the college <laughs> reopens, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> I know that's kind of a tease. I'm standing in front of the gym, but yeah. I'm here on other business today. Um, so, so when we're looking at exercise and mental health, sometimes, you know, it is, and a lot of people I've talked to lately, they're like, I am just so unmotivated right now because, you know, the gym's not open, it's cold outside, there is like five centimeters of snow on the ground right now. Yeah. Um, so like, how do I get, how do I get motivated? How do I keep going with fitness? Because I know how important it is for my mental health. And actually, one of the things that my friends and I were doing over the holidays was we had something called a virtual fitness party. And I know that sounds weird. And everyone's kind of like, and I'm in the same way, virtual fitness right now, I'm kind of like, I'm done with it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of logging into Zoom or watching on my phone, even though, you know, it's my job right now. But yeah. it can be hard because you're just like, this is just, where's the motivation? So my friends and I started doing this over the holidays is where we would call each other up. Um, we would write a whole bunch of exercises, drop them in a cup, and then we would roll a die or we'd cut up some paper with numbers on it too. And we'd pull something out of the hat or the cup yeah. and we'd have to do an exercise together on screen. So it was kind of like a great motivator. I yeah. Like I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I idea of having it in a hat so like i saw that too um on pinterest actually i get a lot of good ideas off pinterest so little tip for you guys pinterest workouts pinterest like exercise ideas motivation ideas great platform to do that um a good thing with uh that pulling it out of a hat is like you can do that for your workouts it's like you put down i saw like on a bunch of like paper popsicle sticks a bunch of workouts so it's like um 100 squats or like 50 squats and then like you put that down then you put like 10 push-ups, 20 push-ups, mm -hmm. and then you put like minute plank. And then what you do is you pull out of that, that hat, popsicle sticks or whatever you wrote, you pull out like four sticks and those four sticks are your workout for that day. So you don't know what you're getting and it kind of just like, oh, it's exciting, you know? What do I pick today? So that's- You gotta that's try different things, right? Yeah, yeah. And have some fun with it. And if you want to work out with a friend and you can't because of social bubbles or anything right now, like. Zoom, and I know we don't want to be on screen all the time, but something like that will get you going because yeah. then it just starts the laughter. You can have a coffee or something afterwards um, while you're on screen if you have the time, but it kind of brings you together and it gets you motivated because let me tell you, some of my friends, very, very competitive. <laughs> and I'm just like, no. <laughs> this is not the point of this. Yeah, my friends. <laughs> yeah, my friends. It's good to have that though. It pushes you, right? Yeah. You just have to, and you have to find what motivates you and everybody's different and you can give a thousand suggestions, but if it doesn't click with you, it's not going to work with you. So you just got to understand what are your triggers and get that to push you to, to work out. And mentally it's, you could speak to anyone who exercises. I don't think anyone's like, yeah, I've been in a worse place after working out mentally it's just such a benefit to your lifestyle and like obviously we do it as a job so we're a little bit biased in the sense of like it supports our lifestyle but you've got to like i always go back is make it a lifestyle don't make it um don't make it like a a, a plan of like 28 days or like you can make goals but it's got to be something that you mentally prepare yourself to make it implement into like your life for the rest of your life because that's it's it can't be it can't be something that you just plan and say, I'm going to work out. It's got to be something where it's like, this is part of who I am. 
because it's going to benefit me and I'm going to take that time in my day to benefit my mental health and my physical health by, by giving myself that, that 45 minutes of a workout because mentally we gain from it. We, like I just said, reduces anxiety, reduces depression, reduces sleep or reduces stress, improves self-esteem, improves mood, improves sleep, improves memory, and it relieves tension. Like the benefits are, are insane. There's a reason why fitness is huge and it's just becoming a bigger and bigger thing in our society. It's because the benefits are, it's, you can't, you can't argue that it's going to not benefit and positively impact your life. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> I think that's it for today. Yes. I'll let you uh, get back on the road and get home for your fitness class. Thank you. <laughs> um, right, please, please. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to me and Kim. You can reach out on our Seneca Rec account, Seneca Performance account, um, Coach Donato account, whatever you like, guys, have questions, just please, please, please reach out. And we are happy to help. Yeah. And, yeah have yourself a good day, guys. Thanks. You too. Be safe, I everyone. See Take ya. care. Bye.